Okay, it is time. Today I'm going to start practicing um, the Chopin Ballade number four. I will start my practice by um, reviewing the, the Debussy. So I'll play through that slowly to warm up and then I will play it through maybe at a medium speed and maybe final. I might alternate just to see, depends on how I'm feeling. <clears throat> um, some of you have asked like what to do for warm-ups. This, what you see is what you get. I literally am not practicing anything beyond what I'm streaming. So um, I'll do another post about warm-up and practice. It, it's not that I'm in the finest of forms now, but um, and not to say that warm-ups aren't necessary and, and awesome, but I tend to do my warm-ups just within my pieces or sight reading. So what you're seeing right now is all that I do. It's not like I warm up before. I don't really touch the piano unless I'm teaching, but except what you've been seeing these past few days. So um, I will warm up my fingers today by practicing the, the Debussy slowly. I'm doing a different camera angle, you'll notice today, because I wanted you to be able to see kind of what I'm writing in my music. So when I start a piece for the first time, it's quite an adventure. I've never ever played um, the Chopin Ballade number four. I've played the first ballade a lot, but never the fourth. And when I first learn a piece, um, the first thing I really focus on is fingering and trying to figure out the fingering, which is always kind of a moving target as I get to know it, but I try and figure it out as, as best I can from the beginning. So. I don't know how big of a section I'm going to practice today. I'll just have to see how I feel. Um, but the process is going to be probably ugly, um, not enjoyable to listen to. But what I hope um, to share is that this process, whether your piece is really, you know, easy or hard, it doesn't matter if it's an easy or hard piece. Um, objectively, it's it's subjective to you. So this piece. The, the ballad is a, will be hard for me to um, play, play well, and I can't sight read it. I can kind of, could have kind of sight read the WC. That one wasn't hard for me to learn the notes. This is going to be hard for me to learn the notes. So um, you'll relate maybe uh, in your own practicing of anything that's just a little bit above your pay grade of being able to sight read through and play well at the beginning. So this, um, will demonstrate that. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I hope it's enjoyable. I, yeah, and I, I changed my camera angle so that you could see kind of what I'm writing in, and I, I'm using a different mic so that you can hear my voice talk, and I'll talk through the process too um, as I go. So first to the WC, and I will change my, um, my, my camera and my mic.
ever, I know you're going to say, can you see my face? Doesn't matter. Do you ever feel just not, not inspired? That was for me, that performance. Not inspired. Just a little bit disconnected through the whole thing. It happens. Okay, um, I'm going to go through this one part. <laughs> Thank you. 
start out tomorrow. <laughs>
Thank you. 
possible. I'm not going for speed here, I'm just going for accuracy. Easy, easy accuracy.
emerging. crazy there at the end um okay so now I have the section that I want to learn and I have every part of that section sketched out with the speed that I could do perfectly that is the most important step so if that's overwhelming to you what I just did that the trick is that you t you need to take what you can do at this moment in time right that's not overwhelming to you whether that's two measures or one measure, or a line, or a page. So I did um, six pages today, but I've been doing this my whole life, okay? So the process is the same, even though I might be doing like harder stuff, right? So I don't know where you are in your journey. I started playing the piano when I was five. I had music in my life constantly. My mom was a concert pianist. I had a lot of advantages in that, in that regard. So don't compare the level of peace that I'm playing to the level of peace that that you're playing, but compare the process to your process. So the most important thing when you start off is that you get into your muscles the thing that you want at the end of the day. So correct rhythm, correct notes, and fingering that hopefully doesn't change. And you want that in there from the beginning. So you don't play through a lot with mistakes because that only makes it harder and more work for you later on. So I was able to do six pages of this piece. You might, like I said, might do four pages of the piece that you're working on or one page or one measure, but start off with what's not overwhelming to you. That's the most important thing. And then, um, yeah, then you'll see what I do tomorrow, but that's, that's the most tedious part. So I doubt anybody watched this. As who would want to watch that? But I wanted you to see because a lot of times, um, like I said, I've been playing the piano since I was five. I'm 48 years old. So 43 years I've been doing this and I've been practicing in my life like an hour to six hours a day. I did take off a good 20 years. So let's say I've been playing 23 years. I'm just coming back to it because so, I'm just doing it for fun and to practice. Just like we've talked about. Like I just like that process. Of, guess what? When I started today, I couldn't play that piece at all, not even a snitch, right? And then by the end of an hour and 15 minutes or however long, an hour and 18 minutes, right? Like I can do more than I did an hour ago and then add that on day to day to day and pretty soon you'll see I'm at some point, I know if I follow this process, I'll be able to play that piece. And then if I play it, people will come to me and say, oh my gosh, you're so talented or oh my gosh, you're so lucky. Like, have you heard me practice? It's not, it's just, it's not luck or talent. It's just that I sit and do it over and over and over again, right? Years and years and years, hours and hours and hours. One day at a time, people, one day at a time and you'll get there, right? So if you like this process, it's enjoyable. It's, it's not talent. I mean, I'm lucky that I found something I enjoy. I will say that I'm lucky I found something I enjoy. I'm super lucky about the family I was raised in so I hope um yeah I hope you guys will go practice if you want to practice on my stream then email me at practice at periodmusic.com I think practicing is awesome it's all that is human both the pain and the triumph and um I see I see some comments I appreciate that you guys <laughs> anybody's watching and know that I really appreciate your practice efforts too. So we're all in this together. I think practicing is the most glorious part of playing classical music. So thanks for sharing it with me. See you later.